Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today I'd like to talk about an ETF called FXI. It's a China large cap ETF. On my trading view chart on the daily time frame, in other words, each one of these little bars is a day's worth of data, you can see it's been trending down, sort of in a channel as well too. About mid-August, I thought that FXI would be continuing down and, and entered it into a short. And it, and it surely did. We had seen that um, it would, would be probable almost immediately. But then something happened. According to Reuters, or Reuters, China launched a late stimulus push to meet their 2024 goal. And this push excited everybody. And the stock price went up. Luckily, I had three trades on and exited two in profit. And one of them was a significant loss. All in all, those three trades were almost a wash. The RSI indicator is still showing that the trend is up, but it's about to close gap. You can see here it's about to cross over. I believe this stock is going to come down to more realistic levels into this area here again. This is a relatively cheap stock under $40. I have a Chinese wife, so I'm interested in what's happening in China. Let me go into a little more depth of what this stimulus package is all about. The Chinese government has lowered the reserve requirement ratio, which um, should bring interest rates down. Also, they've taken measures to target the real estate market by reducing mortgage rates and down payments, especially for first-time buyers and second-home buyers. In China, a lot of the professionals buy more multi-homes. My wife was a Chinese eye doctor and she's bought three homes one of them's vacant and the chinese government has put more money into the market so that they can stabilize their stock market but china is facing some some headwinds consumer confidence issues weak demand there has been some wealth loss for investors and a sluggish economy and sluggish job market there's long-term uncertainty it's not a secret the Chinese housing market has been in trouble for many years. So back to the chart. I think this stock is coming down. Trading view has this rate is still a buy, but I'm doubtful, especially when you look at the fundamentals. So everybody's excited. And if you think it, um, like myself, I think it's going to come down to around 30. What kind of option play can we, can we take a look at? For those of you who are an option players, Doing a bear call spread is a simple way of going short. I'm using a tool called Option Strat. Most of it's free, but they have some things turned off. Currently, I'm using the free version. The stock, as we said, was trading at $35, and we think it's going to go down to 30 So for $500 margin reserve, okay, you're not actually paying $500, but you could lose up to that amount. You get immediately $350 put into your stock market. The max loss of this trade is $150. And if it happens to go down to $30, this is your win line. And that's significant. All the way up to $351 if it expires at that level. Of course, you can take profit at any time during the trade if it goes down to $30. And if it only goes down to $34, this is your win line here. So $50 on a $500 Investment is 10%. $50 on a max loss of $150 is 33%. Simple trade. This trade expires in January. And the break even, as long as it stays below $34. And like I say, I think China's hitting some headwinds. As long as it stays below $34 in this area here, we have a winner on our hands. But And if you hold it to expiration, it is five months out. What do you think of this trade? Is it going up or going down? Let me know in the comments. And remember, do your own due diligence. Never listen to anybody on the internet. Do your own due diligence. Learn it and win for life. Happy trading.